five generations of musical excellence. Well, that's the report that we have this morning from Rick Davis, who's in San Francisco on this family of music makers. A lot of sounds have been coming from this building for a long time. A little softer on that one. Inside are men and women who combine science and art with a love of what they do. This is Schoenstein and Company. For five generations, the Schoenstein family has been making some of the finest pipe organs in the world. It started with Felix in 1877, and through earthquakes and depressions, good times and bad, it continues today. Lawrence Schoenstein is of the fourth generation. My grandfather was determined that I was going to be an organ builder, and so every day after school, I used to drop by here at the shop and clean up, and he'd have a lesson for me. To make a long story short, my son did very much the same sort of thing. So here we are. <laughs> Even those who are not blood relatives are devoted to what they do. Here, there is a larger family. It's a family of fine craftsmen. A few years ago, the Schoensteins decided they just wanted to make organs and not worry about the business aspects of their art. So they sold the company, but they found a man as devoted as they are. This is Jack Bethards. I have a lot of friends who are running big corporations, and every one of them would trade places with me tomorrow, because uh, how could you have more excitement than creating a musical instrument? And one is complex as a pipe organ. Lawrence Schoenstein seems to speak for everyone who works here when he says there is something about taking pipes and wood and making life spring into them. And Schoenstein and company can breathe a powerful life This is a new Schoenstein organ at Star of the Sea Catholic Church in San Francisco. The organist is William Vaughn. He helped build this combination of pipe and wood and a lot of modern technology. The sound fills this church. This is the Philadelphian Seventh-day Adventist Church in San Francisco. This is an example of the restoration work of Schoenstein and Company. They didn't build this turn-of-the-century organ, but they love it, and they keep the sound going now. That's the story of a small group of craftsmen who are keeping a 104-year-old tradition alive, creating things of beauty. And it's all happening here at a small building in San Francisco. For today, Rick Davis, NBC News, San Francisco.
nice. We've had a whole uh, series of family music makers on here recently, you were saying. Well, Richard Valeriani introduced us to the French Horn family, the name of which I'm sorry. I shouldn't have mentioned it. Huh? Well, what a nice oh, instrument. What a, what a great, what a great instrument. instrument. Well, but not only that, but what a great craft and avocation mm. to have as you make beautiful music and that you make the same thing and you make it well. And you make day. it by hand very large. That's right, and it'll always be behind. It'll but be But didn't there. you think that uh, organs would have been made in cathedrals and not little, little factories? Yeah. Humble little factories. In pieces, factories. though. Yeah. I'd have to make uh, stone cathedrals because that's the kind of ear I have when it comes to music. <laughs> you play, I mean about the ERA which faces a